Hey everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to do a quick video here because I had seen some people online asking how to get uh, game and watch games up and running in Botticera. It's extremely simple to do. Uh, we're going to start out here in a web browser. I'm over at archive.org. And I'm going to search for... Game and Watch ROMs. Let's see what's in this one. Uh, this isn't really what I wanted. Let's search for Bowser Game and Watch ROMs. But of Sarah Game and Watch. Okay, I was, uh, I thought it was all together, uh, but it's separate out the words game and watch with spaces and ROMs. And I think what we want is the second one right here. I'm going to do a show all files. And yeah, okay, so we've got some MAME content here. Uh, two zip files. Uh, let's see what's in the second one. This one looks specifically for like MAME 0.251. Uh, I think what I use is from this one, the second zip. I'm going to view the contents on that. Yeah, and we've just got a bunch of zip files. Uh, we want these zips, and what we're going to do is just transfer these zip files over to our Bodicera system. Uh, I've already done that, but I'm just going to fire up uh, and show you. Uh, I used FileZilla from one of my Windows machines. Uh, but yeah, you're going to transfer them into the user data, ROMs, game, and watch. And like I said, just transfer the whole the zip files. So it'll look like this right here. And then we can uh, actually just move over to our Botocera system. Uh, once you've transferred the files, uh, be sure to go here and do a game settings, update game lists. Uh, I have mine set to appear in a game and watch uh, folder here. However, you may uh, see it under something like LCD games. Uh, but either way, uh, when you get into it, you should have uh, all of your games listed here. Now, uh, what I recommend doing is hitting the select button here and going to advanced system options. Uh, this way you don't have to do it for every single one of these ROMs. You just do it for the whole uh, Game & Watch folder. Uh, auto, it defaults to libretro GW. I uh, have not had... Th these ROMs that I showed you and that I'm using don't really seem to work with this. Uh, I'll, I'll give you an idea. I'll set it to, to auto, and it's going to default to this. And I'll try to launch uh, Game & Watch Zelda. Right, because the ROMs we have are specifically, I think, designed for MAME. So I'm going to hit select again, go back to advanced system options. And you can either set it to lib retro MAME or to uh, the regular MAME emulator. Uh, with Lib Retro Mame, here's what the game looks like. Ah, uh, the screen is actually a little bit bigger, I think, on that. You could probably go into the Lib Retro, the Retro Arc settings, and uh, I'm sorry, the Retro Arc settings, and uh, change things around with that. With anything you see that says Lib Retro, 
Uh, but by default, that's kind of what it's going to look like. Uh, like I said, the, the screens are a little bit larger with that one than they are with just the regular MAME, but with the regular MAME, we get uh, a nice little uh, Game & Watch bezel around it. <coughs> so this is kind of how I like to play it. Yeah, so in the Zelda one, you just kind of got to avoid the guy at the bottom that's going to try and stab up at you. While uh, pretty much just wailing on uh, the guy over on the right. I like to get the guy at the bottom as far over as I can and end the sword swing animation and then rush over and just like uh, try to get rid of the guy on the right. I'm going to go ahead and get out of this one. Let's take a look at another one. <coughs> let's take a look at... Uh, let's look at the Mickey and Donald one. I'm just going to hit start on my controller. Uh, this one's pretty nifty because I just need to use the D-pad to move around. The uh, the water comes out automatically. You just have to position it in the right spot. It's actually kind of fun. <coughs> oh, I'll tell you, one day I'm going to get over this cough. Uh, you can use the uh, D-pad up to get Mickey to fix the uh, <clears throat> break in the hose there. Uh, but it may already be too late. Nope, just barely. Okay, cool. Thought that flame was going to make it all the way to the top. <coughs> yep, that got me. Uh, anyway, that's enough of that one. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, Donkey Kong Jr. I'm not going to show off all of these games, but I just want to show a few to show that they are working. Swing and a miss. Uh. Oh, I see. I'm Wow. I have not played this particular game in a watch game. So I was a little lost on what to do there. Ah. Hang on this vine. 
Wait for it. Got it. So yeah, these are pretty simple games, so they pretty much just sort of repeat. I'm gonna get out of this now. Uh, but yeah, that is basically how I've managed to get the uh, Game & Watch games working uh, on my Bodicera system. So I hope this also works out for you. Um, again, my preferred way is to set the emulator to MAME, uh, but it should also work with LibRetro MAME. Uh, I've not gotten this set of ROMs. I, they, I don't think they're compatible with uh, LibRetro GW, uh, but they will work with MAME. And like I said, the MAME uh, by itself right there is my preferred way to play these. So I hope this helps you get up and running with Game & Watch. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to give the video a like. And go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Because there's always more great uh, tutorials and information on Botticero that I'm Botticero that I'm going to be releasing. So look forward to that. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.